I saw this show in New York uh, last spring. How okay, so you it? saw the, you saw the Broadway cast. Yes, I saw the Broadway cast. How fun is it to do? Because it looks it's like so it looks like a concert. To be honest with you, it is. It it does feel like a concert. It's it's pretty much like a concert. Yeah. And is it fun for you as a participant, or is it like, oh, here we go again? No, I mean, obviously, like like everybody, sometimes you go to work and it's like, here we go again, you know, but it's, we are surviving out of what we love to do, which is a privilege. So, and then this show is just so much fun. So. Well, how are those costumes? They look like they're just. Yeah. You know, they're, uh, you know, I, very... I, yours, how do you sit down on that thing? I know. I mean, in the beginning, it was weird because it was like a huge plastic skirt, but right. it's <laughs> but like then, those cones you put on a dog's head. It's right? so crazy. It's like when dogs put, they put shoes on dogs. And yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's pretty much how we feel with the heels too. So is it, is it easy to move around in? Cause you guys do a lot of movement. Um, in the beginning, it was weird because it's, you don't put on a costume like that and heels like that every single day or wigs. Um, but you got used to the practice, you know? Um, it's also very weird because now if we don't wear, like, for example, we have a flat shoe just in case, like we have very sore knees or we have an injury or we we don't want to risk it. We have a flat shoe. Sometimes we wear the flat shoes and we're like, Oh, this is like, not right. I can't do like, this, right? Ew. It's like, what's going on here? Um, so it's weird when we don't have the, like the whole get up, you know? Sure. When you're not singing, when somebody else has the the spotlight, what are those moments like? Oh, it's amazing. Um, we we all embrace each other so much and we um support each other so much, our talents. Um, and you know, when other people are singing, um, we really just try and give her all all of our energy to that person just as much as they do to our solos. So, and that's what the show is about. It's about supporting each other. That's literally what the show is. I, I would think, okay, I'm going to do my, I need a grocery list. I got to get this all done. So if somebody else is up there singing, I'll think of those things I need to get. <laughs> no, really. It's, it's now that it's in our body. Um, it's truly just like such a great moment where we just embrace ourselves and we're just like, look at them go. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. we, we support each other so much. And, and I think also it helps us um, with the story and telling the story. So did you do research before you got in the show about those wives? And did you say, I really think <clears throat> this one had it the worst? Yeah, we did. We all had to um, because these were real people. Um, and it, it was personally, it was very hard for me because Catherine Howard was considered the most irrelevant queen, still is the most irrelevant queen. I know, so sad. Um, because of her story, because of the fact that she was beheaded for treason and because um, she cheated on Henry VIII, even though he cheated on every single uh, person. Um, yeah. But, you know, women never had it right that time. Um, and so it, it was hard for me because every single thing, every, like every single piece of evidence that they found of her was burned. She was literally erased from history because she did something wrong, you know, not really. But um, so it was very hard. I don't even know when her birthday is. I I, I don't know much about her, um, like from like the, the actual books, um, because there's not much of, of her. But it was hard. But at the same time, it was a challenge that I would 100 percent take because I defend my queen with such grace and I will defend her till the end of time because this woman was literally 19 years old when she passed away. So, it, and it's, it's not her fault. You know what I mean? But it was a completely different time. The show is very kind to her though. She's the funniest one. I think of the whole bunch. <laughs> thank she you, thank you so well. much. <laughs> and she has the best song. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank Don't you, you think so much. That's the best I mean, song in the show. I mean, I think it's a the longest one. <laughs> it's seven minutes long. Um, nice. I think I don't think we we all we we don't have favorites. At least personally, um, I I know for a fact my song isn't my favorite. Um, oh. 
by very interesting you know but I know that my song is kind of like the roller coaster of the show because it flips the story completely and it's like oh, the the part where everyone's like okay what are we doing you know what I mean right um but it's definitely I will say it is the longest song it is like a good seven minutes wow that's <laughs> That's attention must be paid, right? <laughs> How about that ponytail, though? Is that hard to maintain or control? Never. I love my ponytail. I want to keep it forever. <laughs> was it was it meant to kind of um, suggest Ariana Grande? Because I know that, you know, I don't want to put that out there, but you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. It's totally fine. It, it, Ariana Grande is definitely an inspiration for Katherine Howard in this musical. Um, Gabby Slade, the, the Tony award winner, um, she did an amazing job with the costumes and she, she really stuck with the, the era and also stuck with the pop icons that were inspired, um, to, for these Queens. Um, and so Ariana Grande and Britney Spears, um, said by the writers are inspiration for, um, uh, for, I was going to say Ariana Grande for Catherine Howard. <laughs> um and so the ponytail really does resemble a lot of Ari um I love the ponytail is it heavy oh it's heavy but it, it ain't I no crown feel like right? Catherine Howard without it you know without yeah. the ponytail I'm not Kay Howard <laughs> how did how did this all come about for you had you been doing something that they saw you in and said yes she must do this part Oh, I just think I was very loud and that they liked it. I, I really, truly, I'm just so loud. Um, I, I, this is my Broadway debut. I've never done anything Broadway. Um, uh, the only shows I've ever done professionally, um, at least in the American market, is In the Heights. I did three productions of In the Heights playing Nina. Um, and I absolutely love that experience. We'll do it again over and over again. Um, and I just got a self-tape offer from my agent saying, hey, there's a show called Six. You should audition for it. And I said, ah, I'll never get it. It's fine. I know what it's about. It's, I won't get it. Because I am i don't see myself. I didn't see myself in those heels. You know what I mean? I was like, Hi, that's a very demanding show. It's a very dance, in, like high impact show, strong pop singers. Like I didn't see myself as that. It was too hard to believe. But I sent the self-tape anyway. And here we are. <laughs> were, you, were you cast though before the pandemic? I um I, no, no, I didn't. So you didn't I have that book period where, well, when am I gonna get to do this show? It, yeah. Um I, I got the audition at a, like maybe around like I wanna say September. Um and then I, I did the callbacks in October. Oh so my God. It was crazy. It was so crazy. Um, I was actually doing another project while I got that audition and um, and I couldn't believe it. I was getting callbacks and then another callback and I was like, what? Is this oh, could go somewhere. I was very worried. <laughs> should I be invested in this? Or should I, just let it I was go? like, wait, why am I getting a callback? Right. <laughs> it was really cool. It was awesome. You know, and I, for lack of a better term, you're an influencer. How does yes. that, how does that, you know, parallel the wives thing? Because I'm sure they were influencers of their day, right? Or oh, is that definitely come on? Um, yeah, it's it. So I've been a social media influencer for around five, six years now. Um, I did it as a hobby and I still do it as a hobby, but I guess um great things um came with that part-time job. Um and it really has helped a lot with with this show because there's so much good content to do with the co other queens, sure. um, like with the TikToks and the Instagram. You know, it's it's just a very and it's also a very social media friendly show. Um, our show is very like young and fresh and new, and so the queendom is loving the social media posts yeah. we do. When I saw it, I thought, wait a minute, this isn't a, this isn't a Broadway show. It isn't yeah. doing what it's you're It's very doing. different. It's extremely, it's extremely different. It's really new and, and just a very fresh take on musical theater. Yeah. And I think it will invite a new audience in. I think that's the real key, but okay. So tell me how, how would I become an influencer? What's the road to that? Really? Just truly just 
hosting you, whatever you was want. Was there one one thing you put out there that really kind of blew yeah. up? Yeah, no, I just I literally just did it as a hobby. Um, like I ever since I was a very like young, I loved going on YouTube and seeing different like social media influencers and YouTubers and just spending hours and hours on YouTube just watching people. Um, like makeup tutorials, like story times or whatever. And I was like, oh, I love doing that. I, I love telling stories and doing my makeup and all that stuff. And I just did it, recorded it. I edited it and then I just post it and people seem to like it. And little by little, I started uploading more and, and is it really that videos. simple though? I would think there'd be a lot of pressure. I, I always mean, said, you know, the ultimate is you have to take your clothes off with that kind of stuff <gasps> because it just oh it keeps goodness. raising the bar. I mean, if you want to take your clothes off too, that's fine, you know, but it's true. You know what I mean, though? It's like, I don't have content. What can I do? I've got to, now my numbers are going down. I, I think, you know, where they I think about it's, everything? nowadays, it's really just like, I think nowadays is just, we're so pressured now because it is a very social media filled world now. Um, and I think we forget a lot about what's out there other than this. Um, cause a lot of the things that people post online are not really like the real thing. Like that's just the highlights right. of your life, you know? Right. So right. there are ups and downs and oh, <laughs> there's a down. <laughs> um, there it. are ups it. and downs, you know? Right. So it, it, it's, it's truly just depending on, on the type of person that you want to show off on social media. Like I know a lot of my friends post things on social media that, you know, there are not as I know them and that's completely fine because they just don't want to show yeah. off. You know, is it though a gateway side. to other work or is it not? Oh, 100%. Now, nowadays casting directors see like you audition and then they're like, I like that person. Let me look them up. And sometimes like they look you up and there's something that they don't like. And it's like, Oh, we can't, we can't cast this person because they have this content or that content. Or sometimes they have like singing videos and they're like, yeah, this person definitely we should have on our show. And like, you know, social media is now a very like useful tool nowadays for that sort of thing. In Puerto Rico then is, is that a big thing? Oh not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we have a lot of social media influencers well, yeah is that how you got to in the heights i mean i mean I'm, i want to make a lin-manuel cor uh, a correlation here somehow or connection i'm dead we we met actually and he's so sweet and nice um so the i i never really i never got any of my jobs because of social media only like like maybe brand deals or something like that. But my acting gigs, I never got for social media. I always auditioned for them. Um, so I, social media really is a really useful tool. Um, sure. And uh, it, it does help a lot with casting, but truly it, it was just auditioning. And, and I also got a lot of no's in audition. I got more no's than yeses in my audition. So um yeah, it, it's truly just like, um, it's like a sprinkle, you okay. know? Okay. Well, then how long will you stay with six? Because this could well, go on for staying, a long time. It's a long time. Yes. Um, we're, um, well, at least here in Boston, we're staying till the 31st. And then we go to Omaha and we're very excited. Yeah, that's um, good. And, and then we're staying, um, I'm pretty sure till March. Um, so that's very, well, very you. Exciting. Do you find different things about the country when you're traveling around? You go, oh my God, I didn't realize audiences were like this. In, oh my goodness, in the blank. 100%, 100%. We get different audiences every single day. Um, doesn't matter where we are. Um, and it's that's what makes the show so interesting too, because people don't expect it in the beginning. Like we're singing the opening number and then we're looking at you and pointing at you. And it's like, what the heck? Hey, wait a like, minute here now, this is not... <laughs> There's, they didn't tell me that I would be involved. Exactly. Right? There's like, wait, where's the wall? There's no wall. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't sit in my lap. It's like cats, you know, where they come down there and they're suddenly, wait a minute, there's a cat by my feet. What do I do? Right. One of those things. <laughs> it's yeah, really it's, like, it's a very interesting show. So it, we get a different, different audience every single day. And we are very like, we always look forward to what, what's to come. Sometimes we get like people who are extremely hype. Sometimes we get people who are like, 
closed off and they're like, oh, I don't wow. want to take part of this, you know? Oh, no, I, so. I, it was a very, very refreshing kind of show. And I was, I was surprised that I was going to see this. And then when I did, and I thought, oh, this isn't what I remember from the listening to the music. I really, yeah, no, seeing it live is very different. Than if, you, if you just listen to the CD and you go, oh, okay, I think I know what it is. And it wasn't that at all. So, I, and that's wow. a good thing. That's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. No, it's a completely different thing once you see it live. There's so much like different um, like takes, and also it's very different. Like Queens is not the same sure. actors as the album. So, um, it's, it's just so magical. Like once you see it, it's like, <gasps> it's like you, you get to see something like everything, the lighting design, the costumes, the, the, the band, the, the band, music, the dancing, the band is another surprise, but is... I don't want to spoil it because I think that's a great kind of, Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I like that. That's a cool idea, but anyway, it's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank and, you. Um, Shout out to you on everything because it's I'm really surprised and proud and and uh, I, I think you do a great job. Thank I, you I so, wish so I knew much. Spanish or something so I could understand everything. That Let's go. Said. I'll teach you. We'll set up a Zoom meeting and we'll teach you some Spanish. I am so there with you. I'm so there. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Have thank a great you so time. much. Have an amazing day. <laughs>